Dr. Amir Rashidian at Mid-Atlantic Chiropractic Center and today we're going to talk about something extremely serious and the topic is how do you adjust your own back and the answer is you really shouldn't <laughs> but if you really really want to, want to I'm going to tell you some of the things you should and shouldn't do um, before we do that let's just talk about what an adjustment is because a lot of times people go oh a chiro I gave myself a chiropractic adjustment and you may be mobilizing, not adjusting. You may be manipulating, not adjusting. And everyone goes, oh, a spinal manipulation is the same as a spinal adjustment. It's actually not. A spinal adjustment is very precise, very specific. If I do an adjustment on your back, I might have taken x-rays and I say L4 is rotated right, laterally flexed left. And the adjustment is going to be bring that back to center, rotate it back to center to take tension and pressure off the nerves that exit your spine. And also remove tension, biomechanical tension on the entire spine because every segment is designed to move a certain way. So an adjustment is very, very specific. Also an adjustment might be that, hey, when we look at you bend and extend, one bone doesn't move. It's stuck in place. So we unlock it, but it's only one bone. Now the manipulation is a little different. Manipulation is, hey, we're gonna mobilize this whole spine. We're gonna twist the whole thing. We're gonna, we're gonna do global adjustments, which is not specific or segmental. And that's what a manipulation is. And that's what a mobilization is. Unfortunately, if you're doing it to yourself, there's no way you'll be able to isolate just the one bone in your back. You can't, if I told you right now, I want you to wiggle your L4, could you do it? I could you can, we should put you on some kind of show or something, you know, call the Guinness Book of World Records. But you can't, you can't move each bone separately, you move it in the global. So a lot of people, what they do is when they want to adjust themselves, they'll kind of twist. And then they'll twist the other side, and they'll do it really fast. And one of those will make some popping sounds. Well, you don't know which bone you moved. And you don't know what direction, what angle, where you put it, where it was to begin with. Sometimes you're moving bones that are already moving. The reason it popped is because the one below it or above it is locked. And the one above it has to move more to compensate. That's the one that made the popping sound. And just because you felt the pop and it increased your range of motion, you feel better. In fact, every time something pops, you also get an endorphin rush, which makes you feel good. It's like leaning back over a chair, right? You put the back of a chair right here and you kind of lean back over it. You get a bunch of pops. Sometimes that's not an adjustment. Sometimes those are your ribs popping out of place. So you hear those pops and you're like, oh man, I just adjusted my own back. Who needs a chiropractor? I get it. Listen, there are ways to mobilize your own back, and in fact, we did a uh, we've we've done multiple videos, uh, exercise videos. There's one called lumbar mobilization sequence, and if you do that sequence, your back will actually adjust, and you'll mobilize things. You'll feel a lot better. And when you do that exercise, there's one where you where you bring the leg across. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is because I want you to go watch that video so you can do it correctly. Um, but you may get some popping sounds and I actually do those exercises myself every morning at 5 a.m. So um, do that. But self-adjusting, why is it bad when you self-adjust? Because these discs, they have fibers around them and the middle is something called the annulus, uh, sorry, it's, it's called the nucleus propulsus. And, and the annulus fibers are around it. Well, they, they're angled like this. Some fibers go this way, some go this way, and it's for... Um, it's for protection, it's for it being sturdy. But when you twist, those start to open up. If you load the disc and twist, those open up and you put them in a vulnerable position where they can tear. So you can actually herniate a disc trying to adjust your own back. So that's why when I say, if you're doing any kind of mobilization technique, you need to be laying down. Or you need to be in a position where there's no weight on your spine. So if you, let's say you sit somewhere, right? Then you got, first off, when you sit, you increase pressure on the discs. When you're standing, it's less because when you sit, you reduce this curve, and now there's more pressure on the front of your spine. When you're standing, you have a curve, there's more pressure on the back of the spine. You want pressure to always be on the back, the weight to be on the back of the spine, not on the front where the discs are. But when you sit, so you sit down, and you put pressure on the front of this, and then you twist really hard, and you do it fast. Where you're just rotating, you're wrenching that disc, and there's a very good possibility you'll get micro tears in that disc. As those micro tears get bigger and bigger, then the inside can herniate out, and then it'll hit a nerve, and then lots of pain and discomfort and problems. So if you're going to try to self-adjust, and I'm against it, but if you're going to do it, you got to do it lying down, you got to do it so there's no weight on your discs. 
hope that makes sense. I hope it's helpful. And uh, call us if you need a correct adjustment. Otherwise, good luck, and we'll see you in the next video.